microservice versus monolithic architecture? What is the difference? Tech Interview Prep A microservices-based architecture can bring significant value to the business. Why and how? First, let's focus on the problem. How do you make developers more productive and give them freedom to write code in any language? How do you speed up code writing velocity, testing, and code deployment? How do you ensure that services can horizontally scale? How to expose your code to any app via REST APIs? In short, all of above is possible with microservices-based architecture. If you are writing or using REST APIs, you are likely leveraging microservices-based architecture. What is a monolithic application? A monolithic application is built as a single unit. Enterprise applications are built in three parts. A database, a client-side user interface, and a server-side application. This server-side application will handle HTTP requests, execute some domain-specific logic, retrieve and update data from the database, and populate the HTML views to be sent to the browser. It is a monolith. The monolithic architecture is considered to be a traditional way of building applications. A monolithic application is built as a single and indivisible unit. Usually, such a solution comprises a client-side user interface, a server-side application, and a database. It is unified and all the functions are managed and served in one place. Normally, monolithic applications have one large code base and lack modularity. If developers want to update or change something, they access the same code base. So, they make changes in the whole stack at once. While a monolithic application is a single unified unit, a microservices architecture breaks it down into a collection of smaller independent units. These units carry out every application process as a separate service. So all the services have their own logic and the database as well as perform the specific functions. It tackles the problem of complexity by decomposing application into a set of manageable services which are much faster to develop and much easier to understand and maintain. It enables each service to be developed independently by a team that is focused on that service. It reduces barrier of adopting new technologies since the developers are free to choose whatever technologies make sense for their service and not bounded to the choices made at the start of the project. A monolithic architecture better suits simple, lightweight applications. Monolithic architecture is built as one large system and is usually one code base. It is difficult to change technology or language or framework because everything is tightly coupled and depend on each other. What is microservice? Microservice capabilities are expressed formally with business-oriented APIs. They encapsulate a core business capability and as such are valuable assets to the business. The implementation of the service, which may involve integrations with systems of record, is completely hidden as the interface is defined purely in business terms. The positioning of services as valuable assets to the business implicitly promotes them as adaptable for use in multiple contexts. The same service can be reused in more than one business process or over different business channels or digital touch points, depending on need. Dependencies between services and their consumer are minimized by applying the principle of loose coupling. By standardizing on contracts expressed through business-oriented APIs, consumers are not impacted by changes in the implementation of the service. This allows service owners to change the implementation and modify the systems of record or service compositions which may lie behind the interface and replace them without any downstream impact. What is a microservices architecture? Microservices architecture is built as small independent module based on business functionality. In microservices application, each project and services are independent from each other at the code level. Therefore, it is easy to configure and deploy completely and also easy to scale based on demand. Within a microservices architecture, the entire functionality is split up into independently deployable modules which communicate with each other through defined methods called APIs. 
Each service covers its own scope and can be updated, deployed, and scaled independently. Services instead of building a single monolithic application. Each microservice is a small application that has its own hexagonal architecture, consisting of business logic, along with various adapters. Some microservices would expose a REST, RPC, or message-based API, and most services consume APIs provided by other services. Other microservices might implement a web UI. The microservice architecture pattern significantly impacts the relationship between the application and the database. Instead of sharing a single database schema with other services, each service has its own database schema. Hashtags, microservices, monolithic architecture. Microservice versus monolithic architecture? What is the difference? Tech, interview prep, 